There you go. So just, just, just to kind of go by for. All right. And here's some more up here. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Merry Christmas. Glory to God. Welcome to Mount Carmel Ministries. We're located at 2015 Grove Street. Whenever you come by, we'll greet you with a hearty Merry Christmas and that the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be multiplied unto you. Amen. We're so thankful for what God has afforded us the ability to do as it relates to being able to bring you these messages via Facebook and YouTube. Amen. Tonight, we're going to uh, be talking about the mission of the church, the mission of the church. Uh, there are so many things that the church is involved in, church can be involved in, but there are five things I wanna point out that the church uh, should be really, readily always involved in, amen? And as we talk about these, I pray that uh, you'll see uh, when we focus on these particular things, when we focus on these particular things, how things will turn in our favor, amen? So let's go to, uh, Let's look at uh, Matthew, <clears throat> and I apologize for, uh, got a little frog in my throat, my sinus is still, but I'm healed in Jesus' name, amen? amen. Glory to God. So let's go to Matthew chapter 28, Matthew chapter 28, and this is where Jesus gives the great commission, and look what he says, Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity to share tonight. Lord God, we decrease in this place that you may increase. Holy Spirit, have your way. Uh, give us revelation, knowledge. May it flow freely in this house, uninterrupted by any satanic or demonic force. And Lord God, when we leave here, we'll leave better than we came. In Jesus' name, if you agree, shout amen. All right, so, so we have authority. We have authority uh, from God, from Christ, to rule and reign in the earth realm, amen? And, and, and uh, this is the second time, if you will, we've been given that authority. Amen. Remember in, the, remember in the garden, we were given that authority to have dominion. Even uh, uh, there was a word in there where he said subdue, which, a, which is an indicator that there were some things in the earth realm that we needed to subdue. There were some things in the earth realm that was going to challenge us, but he's letting us know that you and I have the authority and the power to overcome what's ever in the earth and, and, and we can rule and reign. Somebody shout amen. And we need to know that we have this authority. And this authority comes through, if I can say it, through the church. This authority comes through the church. And we're going to look at that in just a minute, amen. See, God is a righteous judge, amen? amen. And he's faithful in it. Yes. All right, so there are five elements, if you can see them, in this passage of scripture that the church is commanded to do. The church is commanded to worship, amen? Would y'all agree with that? Church is commanded to worship. The church is commanded to minister. Uh -huh. And that's minister to the hurt, the lost. The, uh, and, and how many know that the lost can be, the, the lost can actually be in church? Oh, uh, come on now. The hurting can actually be in church. Okay. Then to evangelize. Evangelize. That's what the church is to do. The church has to get out of the four walls and go into all the world. And, and, and that what he said up there? Glory to God. And then he said to baptize. I know some people don't believe in that, but we're going to put it in here because it's in the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, and, and, and we do it because God said to do it. Can I, can I say some here? I, I might as well just go on and say it. Uh, there are passages, there are places in the Bible where somebody didn't get baptized. And maybe it was because, or when maybe, they didn't have an opportunity to get baptized. So God says, when you got an opportunity, you know what my words say, I would appreciate it if you get baptized. Amen. The thief on the cross, he didn't have an opportunity to get baptized. So baptism didn't, not having been baptized, didn't stop him from going into paradise. Amen. Glory to God. But then how many you know when you know better, you're supposed to do better? And see, sometimes it's, sometimes it's just as small as keeping the commandment. I'm just going to leave that there, you know. It's, it's just as small as keeping the commandment, doing what God said to do, because God said to do it. Amen? Hallelujah. And then we are to make disciples. We are to make disciples. Okay. Glory to God. So uh, I got all that out of the way. Y'all like my shirt? 
Hallelujah. I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. All right, all right. So uh, go to, and you're not going to, these are not in the notes, but Albert, if you don't mind, Exodus 20, Exodus 20, verses 1 through 4 or 5. Exodus 20, verses 1 through 4 or 5. This is what, when Moses gets the Ten Commandments from God, God gives the Ten Commandments, and he lets Moses know uh, uh, what we are to do as people. And this is why we have to worship God. We have to worship God and God only. Amen. To, we have to worship God and God only. So here he, tell, he tells him, y'all got it? Okay. Look what he says. He says, uh, I am the Lord, starting uh, verse 2. I am the Lord. I am the Lord your God. I brought you up out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You should have no other gods before me. You should not make for yourselves any carved image of like, any likeness of anything in heaven or, or, excuse me, anything that is in heaven above or that is on the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. You should not bow down to them nor serve them. See, you see, like that, that, there it is, that, that bowing down and serving them. He, he said, I don't want you worshiping. No, no other gods but me. Let me see where I'm at. For I, for, I, for I, the Lord, your God, I am a jealous God, visiting iniquity on the fathers, but on the children, on the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. When you don't worship, it's almost like telling God I hate you. When you don't worship God, when you don't praise God, why, why, why would I say something like that? Why would I say something like that? When you don't worship God, it's almost like telling God I hate you. Because you're disobeying him, okay? If you love me, keep my commandments. And then let's go a little further. Oh, who, who, who okay, we are enemy of his. Whose air are we breathing? Who, whose lungs are we breathing the air through? Come on now. Who woke us up this morning? Come on now. See, see, see we, we, there's so many things that we need, to sh we need to see when we worship God. We, we, we can worship God when we come in here and clap our hands and sing. That's cool. That's cool. But worship God is a little deeper than that. Amen. Worship God. Wor worshiping God means that I live a lifestyle that glorifies him, a lifestyle that magnifies him. No matter what I'm going through, I still go through it in a way that magnifies and glorifies him. Amen. I, I look, I may not feel like it, but I got to do it anyway. Glory to My money may be funny, but I got I to gotta praise him anyway. Uh huh. The life you were living. Okay, glory to God. And so we, 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 we want to worship God. Let me see where I'm at. Where I stop? Anybody know? Verse six, but showing mercy to a thousand of those who love me and keep my commandments. And then shoot over to Matthew chapter four, uh, verses eight through 11. And this is where Jesus uh, has been tempted by the devil and he's, he's defeated him. Verse eight says, and again, the devil took him into an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I will give you if you will fall down and what? Worship, Worship me. And Jesus said unto him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. Amen. So, so we have to learn how to worship God. Uh, the, psalm, the, the Proverbs tells us, trust in the Lord with all of our heart, doesn't it? And lean not to our own understanding. But then what's the other verse say? In all of our ways acknowledge him. And he'll do, come on now. So we got to learn how to worship him. Watch this, in all of our ways. Amen. Glory to God. Not just the way, not just, uh, not just church ways. Come on, stay with me. Because sometimes we have church behavior. Amen. And we're good at practicing church behavior, but we're only good at practicing church behavior in church. Okay. But you got to learn how to practice church behavior on the streets, okay. in the grocery store. On your job, amen? You got to learn how to practice church behavior, amen? The Bible says he who practices righteousness, come on now, is righteous, amen? And see, the more, the, the more you practice anything, the better you're going to get at it, amen? I, I used to see this joker running up and down the street in Vicksburg at 4 o'clock in the morning, practicing running, pr practicing running. I, I, I have never been inspired to practice running like that. Oh, y'all understand what I'm saying? But he was good at it the more he practiced it, Amen? The more he practices. So anything that you practice, you're going to get better at it. Amen. You're going to work out the kinks. Amen. 
Okay, uh, so, so we, we want to worship God. John 4, 24 says this, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So in other words, your spirit or your soul and your body needs to be involved in your worship. Amen. Your spirit, your soul and your body needs to be involved in worship. You can't be, you can't be your body here with me and your mind on the other side of town. You know, come on now. You understand what I'm saying? You got to learn how to. We got to worship God. Or, uh, he wants all of us. He wants all. And see, the word worship means to show the worth of. Amen. It means the one of the most common words is to bend over and bow down. Amen. That's one of the most common uh, uh, interpretation of a Greek and Hebrew word is to, to bend over and to bow down. And so that means that I'm giving God reverence over every my, all my situation, everything. I'm honoring God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know how, how we sometimes stand when the president come in or, you know, we bow down when God comes in. Somebody shout amen. amen. Well, we want to give God the glory. Amen. It's a way of reverencing God. It's a way. And it, it, it says you. Yeah. You're better than me. I, I know that may not have sounded that good, but you, God, you're better than me. God, God you, you, you're a whole lot better than me. You know, you understand what I'm saying? You know, and I, 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 yeah, kind of you have to get that mindset like Paul he talked about Jesus. He thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but yet he took on the form of a bond servant. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? You got to be willing to take on this lower role, even though you're pet playing a major role. Good God Almighty. Come on. That's probably why somebody blessed me with that shirt. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. That's he, okay. Amen. Come on. So that worshiping God, acknowledging God, go hand in hand. Go hand in hand. Go hand. See, you can't be a closet. You cannot be a closet worshiper, or you shouldn't be a closet worshiper. Uh oh, glory. To you got to be your God. Uh huh. That's what you gotta worship. You gotta worship. You got. Uh, uh, you know. See. Say it again. Say it again. Say it. Again. You gotta take ownership of this. It's your relationship with God. Yes, sir. The truth and the light. Amen. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Yes. You, 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 you need to come with your fire. Amen. Not, watch this, not just coming to get lit. Yeah. You need to come with your fire. You wait for the Hammond B3 to, you, 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 you wait for somebody to, to sing your song. No, no, you gotta, you gotta come already on fire. Amen. And see, when you come like that, you watch this now. You're no longer the thermostat. I mean, you're no longer the thermometer. You're the thermostat now. You're starting to shift the atmosphere. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody said, I, 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 that's, kinda, that's how I want to worship. That's how I want to worship. That's how I want to worship. I want to always show God that my relationship with him is worth more than anything else. Yeah, my, my, my relationship with him is more is worth more than anything else. A lot of the time when I was there, I was thinking, he said, he also showed me that because God is spirit, and he allows the Holy Spirit to indwell us. That spirit truth goes on with the spirit. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, the Holy Spirit, God is spirit, so again, he wants all of us. So all of us to worship him. Mm-hmm. He needs our whole body. Amen. He needs our whole body. Every day. Every day. I mean, you don't hold it all week. No, no, no. Amen. 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 And we're worshiping God. Amen. And the more we worship him, look, look, when we worship him everywhere, knowing that he is everywhere, we shouldn't worry about it when we anywhere. That's right. Amen. Because we know that he's there. 
It's, if it's our lives, it's at all times. Amen. And see, we, 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 don't, we don't need to get caught up in some of those other things because our concentration is on God. And our concentration, see, worship is a way of, thank you, God, worship is our investment into the kingdom of God, if I can say it like that. You know, if we say faith is the currency of heaven, then you got to say worship, you are investing in the things of God. You're so, and look, you're, you're not going to invest in something that you don't believe in. Amen. And when, and, and, and uh, okay, okay. Uh, 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 one of my brothers said this there's a difference between being an investor and a philanthropist. Philanthropist, you know, a philanthropist, you know, I, I'm probably not saying that word right, but that's okay, is, is, is a person that gives a whole, can give a whole lot of money. And generally, it may be a one time donation. Stay with me, stay with me. But when you start to invest, it's a lifetime commitment. Glory to God. I, I, it's, it's not just I got I, 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 my ship came in and I, I, no 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 no. This is this is this is a part of me. Yeah. Am I making sense? Glory to God. And see, that's why we want to invest in the kingdom of God. And and the best thing you can invest is you. The best thing you can invest is you. Amen. you the scripture says you got to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Amen. So we got to invest. Okay. Look now, now, now let's, let's keep going. Matthew chapter 16, Matthew chapter 16, verses 16 through 19. You, you know, it, it's going to be on the screen and you got it in the notes. Look, we said, and Simon, this, this is where uh, Jesus is asking, who do you say that I am? Amen. See, cause so, so you got, you've got to get the revelation of who you are and you got to get the revelation of who you got to worship. Look what he says. He said, he said, and Simon Peter answered and said, you are Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said, blessed are you, Simon boy Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven, my father who is in heaven. And I, and, and I, excuse me, excuse me. And I also say to you that you are Peter and upon this rock, I'm going to build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Notice now, he, 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 he tells Peter, upon your getting revelation from the spirit as to who I am, now I'm going to build my church on that revelation. So the church is built on the revelation of who God is. But you as an individual got to get the revelation as to who God is. You got to get the revelation, as, excuse me, as to who Christ is, amen? Christ is the son of the living God. You've got to get that revelation. You got to get past, he was born of, uh, stay with me now, he was born of Mary and Joseph was his earthly father. You, you got to start to see him as the only begotten son of God, amen? You got to have that level of revelation. In other words, that's how you got to get out of your natural thinking and, and put your spiritual cap on and see him as the spiritual son of the living God. Amen. Amen. And when you get that revelation and you start to operate in that revelation, oh, ha, 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 glory to God. What is hell? What, 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 is, what, what, what is hell? It's a place. Okay, so, so, so in other words, you believe that there is a hell. Okay, okay, glory to God. So we believe that there is a spiritual place called hell. Amen. And, and see, it really didn't take a whole lot of revelation to get there. Come on now. Now, what I'm trying to say is, when you get, if we understand that, it should be easy for us to understand that Christ is the son of the living God. It should be easy to have that kind of spiritual revelation so that now, knowing that I'm hooked up with God, I have dominion over the enemy. That's why I can assault the gates of hell. Amen. I don't have to wait for the devil to come to me. I, am I making sense? So, so, but you, but you got to have this level of revelation. And, 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 and the more you worship God, the more you praise God, uh, God will reveal even more and more of himself to you. Notice here with Peter hanging out with God, hanging out with Christ, was giving him the opportunity to have these flashes, if you will, of revelation. But, you know, just like he had a flash of revelation, what else did he have? He had a flash of carnality. I like the way, I like these, these, he had a crisis of relief. In other words, what he had, the revelation he had got challenged what he knew. And he had to shift out of what he knew to the revelation, to allow the revelation to have final authority and not what he knew.
This revelation. This rev and revelation is for anybody who will seek it. I'm going to say that again. Revelation is for anybody that will seek it. What do you say in Matthew chapter, chapter 5, somewhere around about 6? Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Glory to God. See, if you want it, he, he got it, he'll give it to you. But you got, and Paul says, because of the abundance of revelation. Come on now. See, you, 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 you can have all you can handle. I'm going to say that again. That was good. That was, you can have all you can handle. Hallelujah. And see, can I say this? Every now and then, you got, maybe you need to ask God for a little bit more than you can handle. Amen. So that you can learn, out, learn exactly what you can handle. Did you hear what I, see, 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 sometimes you don't know what you can handle until you got to handle it. Huh? They, 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 and, and, but, 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 but the beautiful thing about that, well, even when I think about that, he's not going to put more on me than I can bear. But what did he tell me in Hebrew, in uh, Matthew chapter 11? In Matthew chapter 11, he said, yoke up with me. He said, yoke up with me. And see, when you yoke up with him, he's, he, he, he's really carrying the load. Come on, because he says, uh, 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 oh. <laughs> glory to God. And see, that's the, and, and so, so we, we, don't, we, we, we even get to, need to get to the point where we don't limit ourselves by thinking about stuff. Well, I'm not able to do that. No, the Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. So I got to keep telling myself these things because I'm trying to build. I want to build my faith to the point that when I'm worshiping God, nothing blocks me from being able to be free before him. Uh huh. When did I see you naked? I'm saying that, say this, you know, last week when we was in the airport, you know, you know uh, we had like a five-day flight, you know, we were going on vacation. And then it was this young lady, you know, that worked for me years ago. You know, she was looking kind of destructive. So I went up to her, and I said, Kevin, what's wrong? You know, uh, you know, I hugged and everything. And then she said, well, I'm going to St. Louis, and then my cameraman left his ID and this and that, so we've been in this all flight. Then I said, oh, no, you ain't. This is what you need to do. Go to the security guard, and then they will ask you a couple questions. I mean, you know, him a couple questions, and then they'll let you on the flight. Then I just went on by my business, right? Uh-huh. Wow. I said, Pastor Kelly. So I went on the podcast. The girl had 50,000 followers, 50,000. And then she talked about how I saved her trip. And then I ain't gonna think nothing of it. See that? I didn't wait Look at God. I said, go over there and go do this. You don't get beat. Mm hmm. That's right. Mm hmm. James 4 and 17, you know to do good and do it not, it's a sin. And see, you, you, when, you get, when, you, when you have all of this revelation, can I call it that, knowledge on the inside of you that you've gained over the years, and you're in a position to share that with somebody, it, well, what is it going to cost you to invest that in somebody? And look at the, look at the return. Look at the return. I think, I think also in that uh, he had what he said. Mm -hmm. He spoke the word of God. And God wants to use us down here. Yes. Yes. Don't think none. Don't think none of it. Don't think none of it. Don't think none of it. Freely it came and freely you gave it. 
Come on. And you, and you, come on now. Hey, hey. It meant the world to her. Amen. Glory to God. Can we just give God a little praise right there? Yes, amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. So, so that's why I like to say that when he's talking about church, he's talking about twofold. He's talking about the body, the, the body of Christ, but he's also talking about the individual. Amen. Because, you know, wherever you go, you the church. Oh, come on now. You, you, you represent the church. You represent, you represent the church. You represent the church. Your words carry weight. Amen. And so when folk look at you, they're not just looking at the congregation. They're looking at you as well. Amen. Glory to God. And see, so he says, on this, on, the, on this revelation, I'm going to build my church. And then I like what he said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You know, in other words, he, he lets you know something. You do this, don't worry about it. Yeah. Hey, Amen. You know, don't, 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 no matter what the devil brings, yeah. don't you worry about what the devil brings. Yeah. Amen. No one, oh, come on now. Because I'm with you, amen. You're repping me, and because you're repping me, I'm going to rep you. Uh-huh. You yoked up. Come on now. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. And, you know, just to nail that thing home, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 is probably on the board. The way it says, or do you not know that uh, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and, uh, who is in you, uh, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you've been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God with your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So he lets us know that our spirit and our bodies belong to God. Holly, our spirit and our bodies belong to God. If you didn't know, you can just drop soul off in the center there. Your spirit, your soul, and your body belong to God. Now, I like the fact that, that he said your spirit and body right here. He kind of left out soul. Can I? Okay. Uh, 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 because you got a right to choose. You got a right to choose. You can either choose him or not choose him to be your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And he wants us to make that choice to worship him. Amen. And that choice is going to be made, your, your, your mind, will, and emotions, where you make that choice. Can I hit you with another thing? When you choose from your soul to make that choice to worship God in spirit and in truth, then the body, because the body belonged to him, got to, come on now, y'all better help me now. The body got to line up. Hallelujah. The body got to line up. That's why you're going to say, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Might have symptoms after wazoo, but I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. It's manifesting now. Come on now. You, you, and see, this is where you have to talk to yourself. Amen. And then, you know, uh, the Bible says uh, God enthrones or inhabits the praises of his children. Amen. Glory to God. And then he said, well, two or three are gathered in my, come on now. There I am in the midst. Come on now. Come on now. So when you start to worship God like that, he says one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. Amen. So the more we start to worship God in spirit and in truth, and we, 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 we're not concerned about the, what the enemy is doing, the enemy can't stop you. The enemy, enemy cannot stop us because we're God's. We belong to God. And then even the psalm says, we're little G's. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at Romans 6. And 13, Romans 6 and 13, glory to God, look at So we, we, it's a, it's a lot of scripture here, a lot of scripture, because you know, if you look on that paper, you ain't got none but most, most, most scripture, hallelujah, because it, that's what we feed on, amen. He said, Louis said, and do not, uh, <coughs> and do you, uh, and do not, excuse me, and do not prevent, and do not present your members as instruments of unrighteous to sin, but, but, pre, Excuse me, but, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. So your body is an instrument, but here's the thing. God wants to play it. God wants to play your instrument. Hallelujah. He wants you to surrender your instrument to him and let him make music with your instrument. And how many know he played, he, he, he's, he's more skillful at playing the instrument than I am. Hallelujah. See, because he knows what the instrument is actually capable of doing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I will now, just, just, just can, can y'all go with me? 
if, if you're participating in his playing of you as an instrument, what's going to happen? You're participating in his playing of you as his instrument, what's happening or what's going to happen? Go make sweet music. Huh? Build them for melody to the Lord. But, but okay, what happens when you participate in doing something? <laughs> you, 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 you're doing it too. You're doing it too. You're doing it too. And at some point, maybe he had his hand on your hand, just just a, uh, you had your hand on his hand, and he was making you hit the notes, but then he removed his hand, and now your hand knew what note to hit because his hand had been on your hand. Add more value to you. Add more, more value to you. Okay, okay, so you learn. Okay, okay, okay. Has, uh, you appreciate that he took the time out to spend that time with you to grow and develop you. Patient enough with you to walk you through some things over and over again until you got it. That's what God, and God does that all the time. And see, that's why you don't, you don't need to get mad with God when he puts you, put you back in class. Uh huh. Oh, uh -huh. go oh, glory to God. That's it. Look good. You know, we often talk about uh, uh, time, talent. Uh, time, what is it? Th th three T's: time, talent, and tithe. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You know, and, and so God wants part of worshiping is spending that time with God, where y'all practicing on some stuff. Y'all practicing on some stuff. Y'all praying about some stuff. You know, y'all talking about some stuff. Y'all reasoning together. Amen. Glory to God. Now, uh, look, look, let's, let's, let's. I, I, I had all kinds of aspirations when I came in this evening. Hallelujah. Uh, but but I'm, God is still good. Amen. Okay, let's look at Abraham, who's called the father of faith. And the Bible says, Abraham believed God, and God accounted it unto him as righteousness. And how many know that at 75, he left Haran, and uh, he said, God says, go to a land that I'll show you. And he told him, uh, I'll make your name great. I'll bless them that bless you. I'll curse them that curse you. And you, all the nation of the earth, will be blessed. Y'all remember that, right? And then somewhere around uh, Genesis chapter 15, he's talking to the Lord and said, God, wait a minute now. You know, I, I, I'm getting blessed. And he, cause Abraham sees stuff coming on in. It's coming, and he said, I, I, I don't have an heir. I don't have an heir. I don't have an heir. He said, you're going to have a child. You're going to have a child. He's going to be one. You know, he tells him all that good stuff. And then around about 85, somewhere along up in there, ain't no baby came. So he does what? <laughs> I ain't going to go there. He, 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 he do what people do sometimes. They try to find another route. They try to find another route. He, they, he found, oh, just because you found, find a route doesn't mean that it is the route that God wants you to go. Amen. Amen. And but, you know, how many know that God, uh, thank you, God. God already know that you're going to take a wrong route because he know, you know, he know he going to use that wrong, well, anyway, I ain't going to get into that. But anyway, uh, they end up having Ishmael. You know, but Ishmael was not the promised seed. Amen. And so uh, time pa passes, and uh, uh, he finally, uh, they, they talking, and he said, no, you and Sarah are going to have a child, uh, uh, and it's not going to be Isaac, da, 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 da. And uh, at about 100 years old, Sarah, about 99, the Bible says they were fully persuaded, Abraham was fully persuaded, and so they have a child who's a promised seed. Now, about 10 years later, 12 years later, this promised seed that Abraham has, God says, now I need you to offer him up as a sacrifice. Now, 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 see, this is where worship starts to come in because you got to find out or you find out what's worth more than you, what God gave you, a uh, God. I'm in there today, dog. What God gave you, a uh, God. Okay, so he, he, he gets the boy, and Genesis chapter 22 is where we're at. Genesis chapter 22, he tells, he tells the servants, he says, uh, uh, let me see where I'm at. Uh, 
Verse 5. Read it for me. Because I... Uh huh. Uh huh. We won't come back. Okay. I'm sorry. They, they told me I didn't, I didn't have you. No, he said, so We're going to go yonder to worship and we're coming back to you. Now, now, what is Abraham doing? What is Abraham doing? He's being obedient. He calling what he wants. He's trusting God. Amen. And, 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 and faith coming by hearing. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. He, he done heard some stuff in his spirit. Now he got, he's speaking out what he done heard in his spirit. Because we run over the Hebrews, we said we find out, he said, if God had him to kill him, God was going to raise him from the dead. So he's talking himself, he's talking his faith up. Amen. He's worshiping God by talking his faith up. He said, we're going to go over there and we're going to worship and we're coming back. Okay. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, what was God's response? Yeah. Drop down to 16, 16 through, uh, uh, you know, we, we, uh, 16, uh, 16. 16. Yeah. Uh, 22, 16 through 18, and said, by myself I have sworn, said the Lord, because you have done this. You and multiplying, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In uh -huh. your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Okay, because Abraham obeyed his voice. He said, you, you decided not to withhold your only son from me. Amen. You know, he let him know that, yeah, I know you got Ishmael over there, but this the one right here. And you were willing to offer him up for me. Oh, now look at my response to your obedience. In mul what did he say? In multiplying, I will multiply you. I like that right there. In multiplying, I will multiply you. Glory to God. In multiplying, I will multiply you. Oh, you, 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 you need to hang out there for a minute. In multiplying, I will multiply you. Many descendants, many descendants, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Amen. Touch your neighbor, say innumerable. Glory to God. And see, that's the power of God. Mm -hmm. He said, well, if you're willing to build, you eat the good of the land. Amen. So this, you know, this is a kind of the same blessing that he had spoke on. He just reaffirmed that blessing again and say, maybe, maybe, he put, maybe, maybe he put a little more emphasis on it just so he can get it. Amen. How many know that God is that kind of God? Mm. Old folks used to say you can't beat God given no matter how you trap. Amen. And look again, Psalms 22 and, five, and, and 3 says uh, God inhabits or enthrones the praises of his children. Praise is a form of worship, amen? And, and, and serving God, being obedient to God is a form of worship. And simply by serving God, by being obedient to his word, look at what it gets Abraham. He gets, he gets blessed, amen? Let me see. Uh, and, uh, Matthew 18 and 20, I believe that's the one who said, where two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst, amen? So, uh, 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 glory to God. When we decide to worship God uh, in spirit and in truth, when we decide to worship God and we come together in a congregational setting, glory to God, one put in a thousand of flight, two put in 10,000 of flight, that's a, good, that's a good place to be, amen? But then, uh, also, if it's just you and God, y'all a majority, amen? Uh, come on, that's enough, Amen? Because, now, I, can I, I mean, I'm just, just, just doing a little math. If it's you and God, how many folk there? Enough. <laughs> all, all you, so, so don't even, so Mary said, don't even put a number on it. It's enough. It's enough. I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was trying to say the Father, the Son, and the, no, 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 it, it, it's, it's enough. It, it's enough. Amen. Go to God. Amen. That, 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 it's enough. Glory to God. Thank you for that. Amen. See, the Bible says, and the blessing of the Lord make it one rich and add in no sorrow. Proverbs 10 and 22. We're blessed with Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Amen. We're blessed with the Holy Spirit who dwells on the inside of us. 
Amen. And Jesus told us that God the Father is also inside of us, didn't he? Amen. So we have the Godhead bodily embodied in us. So why are we going to be afraid of somebody else? Amen. Glory to God. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And see, when you start to wrap your mind around this is who you and I are worshiping, the all-powerful, the all-knowing, the omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent God, hey, we're in the best place we can be. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Look. Let me just say this now. We don't bless God to get blessed. But the more we bless God, we are blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, glory to God. So we want to worship God. We want to worship God. And, and uh, whether that's congregationally or individually, you got to say, God, you're worth more than anything else to me. This guy, yeah. Yeah. God, you're worth more than anything my reverence is in you. Thank you for the stuff you've gave me, but my reverence is in you. Thank you for the stuff that's on the way, but my reverence is in you. Hallelujah. Look, thank you for the things you kept from me. Come on now. Glory to God. Thank you for when you pruned me. Come on now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm more fruitful because of that. Come on now. Whew. Glory to God. Remember now, it said, acknowledge him. And I'll, look, God, I was mad when you did that at first. Thank God oh. Me what I oh, come on now. See, we got to worship him. Got to worship him. Amen. Glory to God. Mm. Got to worship him. Amen. Let's go, let's go to number two if we can make it. Uh, in, 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 in the comments about worship, though. In the comments about worship. Hallelujah. We worship him. We want to worship him. We want to worship him. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 God. Mm. He's so good, isn't he? He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. He, you know, he, he, he working stuff out for us right now. Amen. Glory to God. And, and, you know, when we pray sometimes, Father, thank you for keeping us from danger seen and unseen. And, and, and then when you start thinking about it, you, you can think about some unseen things that, 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 that just paralyze you with fear. Mm -hmm. but, but, but God kept you from it. God blocked it. Amen. Glory to God. Because he's, he, he's in control. Amen. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's number two. We got a minister. We got a minister. Uh, part, of, part of the mission for the church is to minister. To minister to the hurt and to the lost. To minister. And we said it earlier, uh, the, 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 the hurt and even sometimes the loss are not always outside the church. Amen. 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 One of the things that we want God to give us or uh, to build in us is the spirit of discernment. Amen. And, 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 and not always to, to, to try to discern uh, a, a, a demon or something, but then, you know, that, that you got to have that. But to discern when somebody just struggling in an area, just going through so that, so that you know how to pray for them, so that you know what to pray for them, so that you know how to approach them about whatever there is they're dealing with, so that you can minister to that need. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Compassion and not pity. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me see. Let me see. Well, look at uh, Mark chapter 2. Uh, got a lot of scriptures up there, 13 through uh, 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 17. But 17 is the one that really, that he had really given me. And what he says, and when Jesus heard this, he said to them, those who are well need no physician, but those who are sick. I did not come. Of to call the righteous, but sinners to repent. So he lets us know, glory to God, there are some righteous people around. Amen. But now, part of the job of the righteous is what? What's part of the job of the righteous? Come on, come on. Uh, uh, come on, Shirley. To, to minister, amen. To destroy the works of the devil. Our, our job is to minister. Our job is to minister. Baptist, come on now. That's part of our job. Yeah. That's part of our job. And watch this now. Watch this now. When, when, we, when we minister, hallelujah, glory to God. This is so, so, so. you know, uh, 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 
I ain't got none of them in my pocket. I try to, my wife is so much better at this, I try to have some peppermint in my pocket because sometimes, you know, when you go up to minister, you want your breath to be refreshing. To be refreshing. Amen. And so some, <laughs> sometimes it's, it's, it's a good thing to have some mints <laughs> so that you could pop one in your mouth before you go, go up to talk to somebody so that they won't be distracted <laughs> by your breath. Yeah. Now, now, now I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying that to be ugly, but the enemy will use anything, come on now, as a distraction. That's right. As a distraction. Amen. And so, 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 hallelujah. So, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, the enemy is going to always try to distract you, take you off your game. But that's why you got to be so uh, uh, rooted and grounded and settled in the word, in who you are, that you don't allow the enemy to take you out of that mindset. So you got to minister, got to minister, got to minister. And you got to know that there are some people that need it, and I, I, I can't get away from it. Some of them are, 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 are in the church. Amen. You know, uh, so, so don't just think it's folk out on the street, on the corner, that need ministering to. No, there's some folk, you know, right close to you might need some ministering to as well. And can I say this? They don't need it. Thank you, God. They don't need everybody in the church to know. Come on now. What y'all were ministering about. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Zaki, uh, look, 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 look. See, Jesus, as Tyrone brought it up, and I didn't read those scriptures, but just, Jesus spent time eating and maybe even having a little wine. Ain't nobody saying nothing. With the, with the, with the, with the, with the tax collectors and the prostitutes. And they were talking about him, wasn't they? They were talking about it. They were talking about it. But, but, but he's ministering. Amen. He, he, he's letting them know that where you are don't stop me from coming. Amen. What you're dealing with is not something that I'm afraid to be in contact with. Amen. In the Old Testament, the unclean thing would make the clean thing unclean. Yeah. But things are changing. Y'all better help me now. Things are changing. <laughs> he's the clean that touches the unclean and the unclean becomes clean. Amen. Amen. And see, that's the mindset that you and I got to have as ministers of the gospel. Let me just clear something up. Just because but it, you don't have to have a piece of paper that says your name is minister so-and-so. When you get saved or when you got saved, you became a minister of the good news of the gospel of Christ. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. And see, that, you see that I think sometimes that's a problem with folk. They don't see themselves as ministers of the gospel. Amen. I, I, I'm saved, but I ain't no minister. No, 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 no. You are a minister because you are repping Christ now. Amen? Amen. Part of the Great Commission, what we started with. Okay. 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 Glory to God. And look at when he, when he was talking to Zacchaeus. Minister Wilson preached on this uh, several years ago. Look, and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him. Zacchaeus then climbed up a tree. Zacchaeus then climbed up a tree because the Bible said he was short. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, see, the short people got sense. Hallelujah. I wasn't looking at you because you, I, I don't know why she's looking at me like that. Uh, <laughs> he done climbed up the tree. He done climbed up the tree to get a better view. And, 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 and He's trying to see Christ, but Christ knows everything about him. Yeah. Can you imagine he looking up in there and then, can you imagine how Zacchaeus said, when he said, Zacchaeus, come down. Tonight I got to eat at your house. He knows my name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on now. Woo, glory to God. And uh, somebody mentioned it in class, either Monday night or several Mondays ago, that Jesus ain't saying a word at the table, is he? Whatever it was that Zacchaeus, I ain't gonna get in there. Whatever it was that Zacchaeus had on the table, Jesus just eat. 
But what is Zacchaeus doing? He's confessing. He's repenting. Just in the presence of Christ, he's cleaning his life up. Look, 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 look. look. Come. Say it again. Say that again. He didn't call him out on nothing he was doing. Woo! But in his presence. Oh, uh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. It's going to come back. Eh? He, look at there. See, see, see how these working together? Yes. He drew it out. Hallelujah. 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 Man. Why? Because Christ is ministering. He's ministering. And see, look, notice. You don't have to always, uh, up, other than calling his name and saying, I've got to read your ear at your house, you don't have to say a whole lot of anything else. The Spirit will draw it out. effort. Uh-huh. Yes. God rewards effort. Because like he that. realized he was short. He realized this. So, so he made the effort to climb a tree. He made effort. And, and look, yeah. God put the tree where he could climb it. Amen. Uh, look, I'm just going to come here. Look, look. He was short, but he had a limb that the short person could reach. I'm, 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 come on now. But he, he'll make a way. <laughs> oh, I may need a bodyguard to get out tonight. Hallelujah. He'll make a way, amen. I, I, I'm, not, I'm just, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Come on. He wants you to find him. He wants you to find him. Amen. No, I'm right here. I'm right here. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, so they shall be filled. Amen. Uh, we got about eight minutes, seven, eight minutes. Uh, we, we just kind of uh, kind of touch on evangelism a little bit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and to evangelize, no, you, it, wherever you are. See, don't think you got to go to the far corners of the earth unless God told you to go there. Okay. Amen. You can evangelize right where you are, your sphere. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. The people got me in trouble at family development. Hallelujah. Talk me into buying them ribs when I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and, you got favor. You, you, and then they came out there, why y'all got ribs? Anyway, so you got to learn how to evangelize where you are. You got to stay with the word of God. Wherever, wherever God has placed you, he's placed you there for a purpose. And your job is to show forth the Christ that's on the inside of you. Amen. That's correct. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, down at all court. Can, can I go there? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Uh, uh, being in the, with the athletes and marrying in, in the grant area. Y'all took it advantage of being able to pour into kids there then my, my, my daughter the psychometrist I don't even know what that boy do uh, 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 my, my daughter is she, she's special hallelujah good special and the kids crazy about her and she give kids names if you this kind of kid she'll give you that kind of name and if you that kind of kid she'll give you that she rename them. She re and look, they be coming up asking her what my name is. I, I cleaned it up a whole lot. <laughs> I cleaned it up a whole lot. Amen. But 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 watch this now. When you when you build relationships like that, 
then it's easy to jump up with there, that number two, to minister. Amen? Because you got a relationship that opens the door to ministry. Amen? You know, it, it ain't like you, you, know, you just saw somebody, and you know, no, no, no. Wait a minute. You know, the Bible even tells us, don't it? Don't lay hands on folk real quick. <laughs> come on, come on. Y'all, y'all, amen. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Pastor Deborah, you got something? I know you're going to keep me in check. You're going to try to anyway. Hallelujah, best of all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Come on, somebody, somebody read, read this real fast. But we still got a few minutes. Luke 14. I want to, oh, something I need to get here. Uh, Luke 14, starting at verse 15. And I may stop you, but... but, but now, but. now when one of those who sat at the table with him heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is he who shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then he said to him, A certain man gave a great supper and invited many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to those... Who were invited, come, for all things are now ready. But they all with one accord began to make excuses. Uh huh. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must go and see it. I ask you to have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am going to test them. I ask you to have me excused. Still another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and reported these things to his master. Mm -hmm. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in here the poor and the maimed, and the lame and the blind. And the servant said, Master, it is done as you commanded and still there is room. Then the master said to the servant, go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, thoughts, thoughts, come on, come on, come on. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. There's plenty of room, amen. I had to write down, no excuses, no. When, as we're studying the word of God, we're in the presence of the almighty God. We've been worshiping God. You know, you, you're, you're a minister of the Lord. God is doing some great things in your life. There's no, there should be no excuses. You know, all these excuses they gave, God had provided them to be able to get those things. Amen. Was, the, was that land going to go anywhere? <laughs> Were those ox, oxen going to go anywhere? Oh, they's married now. She ain't going nowhere. Come on now. Nowhere. Come on. She ain't going nowhere. Come on now. She, she, she ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. So, 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 you know, and, and, and as, I'm, as I'm writing this, I'm looking at this, you have to start stopping and think, what kind of excuses have we made in the past not to worship God? Not to minister where God told us to minister, uh, amen? Uh, not to be the evangelist in the place where he had planted us? What excuses did we use? What excuses did we use? And you got you to gotta ask yourself, you know, uh, you know if, if God says, Christ says, if you deny me before me and I'll deny you before my father. One of the amplifiers says, he said, if you, if you grant me an audience uh, in the presence of men, I'll grant you an audience with my father. Amen. So isn't it good to know that you can have an audience with the father? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So we, but we got to be willing to evangelize. As, as somebody said over here. Uh, there's, there's plenty of room. And, and uh, going back to Zacchaeus, Jesus says, I've come to seek and to save that which is lost. Amen. So uh, from the guttermost to the uttermost, that's who he's come at. Amen. And so that has to be our mindset. That has to be our mindset. See, we can't look for, can I go this way, God? We can't look for a certain caliber of person to be a part of Mount Carmel Ministries. You know, you know, come on now. You can, you know, and, and, and don't get upset with the kind of people that come. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Because you don't know who God getting ready to raise up. Woo, hallelujah. David 
bunch of what I call them the other night ragamuffins. David, David, David's men when he put them look that little group together at Ziglag, they, they were tore up from the flow up. They were some of the raunchiest folk you could ever imagine. But they kept hanging out with David. They kept hanging out with David. They kept growing and developing because of the anointing that's on David. And when David started to give to the temple of God, they had all kinds of money that they were able to give as well. I'm not putting it down on a money, down on a money thing. I'm just trying to get you to see how they grew being with David. Amen. They may have started out one way, but God increased them. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so that's what we're going to we want to be able to evangelize in such a way that, that, that we meet, those, meet the need that's there. And more importantly, people get to have a relationship with God for themselves. A relationship with Christ for themselves. Because again, twofold, twofold, twofold. It's an individual thing and it's a collective body thing. Amen. And, and glory to God, when we, when, we, when, we, when we rise up as that one, Hallelujah. Great things we can do. Amen. Any questions or comments? Glory to God. Because the, uh, the, the time that got away from it tonight. Any questions or comments before we close out? Pastor Deborah, anything? Nothing. Pastors over on, uh, ministers on this side. Ministers over here on this side. Any, 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 any things before we close out? There is that, that uh, block party uh, sponsored by Total Praise Ministries on Saturday uh, on Drummond Street. Uh, I forget the address. Uh, uh, starts at 11 o'clock and goes to about 4. I, I'm not sure as to what time speaking is going to take place, uh, but I was asked to share uh, briefly. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go by there. I find out exactly what time I need to be there to go by there and share briefly hallelujah you know sometimes you just tell yourself stuff amen <laughs> hallelujah so 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 if you get a chance they got hot dogs hamburgers you know all kinds of food and stuff uh it's gonna be a, a community block party sponsored by total praise total praise ministries under the direction of Gre uh, pastor gregory butler i believe is his name uh i've spoken at the church uh in the past uh but anyway 11 to 4 on Saturday, so yeah, right, yeah, 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 right next to the Warden Gate. Old Jilly Jung, that, that's what somebody, yeah, Old Jilly Jung. All right, Hallelujah. Is there nothing? If there's nothing else, if you're in this house and under the sound of my voice, and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, well, He's here right now. The Scriptures declare that He's standing at the door of your heart and He's knocking. thing is uh, by receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior by confessing your, your sins and asking him to forgive you of your sins when you do those things he comes in and he sups with you he comes in you become a member of the body of Christ the scripture says with a heart one believes unto righteousness but confession is made unto salvation so you got, God just wants you to confess it ask, ask for forgiveness and ask Jesus to come in. You do those things, you're going to be saved. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And when you get saved, your spirit is made alive with Christ. And now you're in the process where now the Holy Spirit can help you renew your mind to the things of God. So that your body can fall in line with your spirit and your mind. Amen? Your behavior, your conduct, all that stuff will start to change because you make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. Now, trials and tribulations are going to come. Jesus says, in this world, you will have tribulation. But he says, be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. When you get that in your spirit, even though somebody may have made that confession, but allowed the world to draw them back into the world, guess what? Jesus says, I never left you. God says, I never left you. Amen? All you got to do is come back, rededicate your life. Like the prodigal son, he left home, wasted everything that he had. But when he came back, the father didn't make him a servant. The father put him back in his position as a son. So if that's you and you've messed up, you say, Father, forgive me. I want to come back home. He'll meet you right where you are. 
and restore you. Amen. Last but not least, if you don't have a church home, we're Mount Coma Ministries located at 2015 Grove Street. We'll be glad to have you as a part of our congregation where we'll teach you as the Holy Spirit is teaching us how you too can win in each and every area of your life. Amen. Father God, we thank you for what you've done in this house tonight. We thank you, Father, for those who've been watching over the airways. We thank you, O oh God, for your Holy Spirit, for your moving and your guiding. You're, you're moving in a dynamic way. We thank you that people are making decisions now to come back to you. We thank you that people are making decisions to give their lives to you. We thank you that people are making decisions to worship you in spirit and in truth to be the ministers that you call them to be, to evangelize the areas that you've placed them in by your Holy Spirit. Father, we lift up those who have lost loved ones. We lift up those who are going through right now. And we thank you, O oh God, that you again said you would never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you for your angels that you're encamping about them right now, that they will minister as only they can so that their hearts can be uh, lifted, so that they can have a peace that passes all understanding. And now, God, as we prepare to leave this place, we're so thankful that you never, that we never leave your presence. Just like your eyes on the sparrow, we thank you that you continually, constantly, vigilantly watch over us. Now, until we're able to come into this house again, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' mighty and majestic name. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God.